to Dino Mania with me, Ranger Chris. Me, Ranger Andy. And, and him. him. And him. Yeah. We've got it. So I guess. He doesn't <laughs> shut up. Um, <laughs> we're loud. doing a podcast and we're going to be filming it. <laughs> i got to tell you what. I just thought I'd leave him on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good boy. You can fit back in now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dynomania Prehistoric Pod. It's our podcast. Um, and this week we're doing something special because we're going to be recording it. So you can see behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. And this is behind the scenes. This is our little recording studio where we um, do all of our podcasts. If you haven't listened to our podcast, they're available on everything. Literally everything. Amazon. Uh, Apple. Apple. Spotify. Uh, Spotify. Um, and loads of other ones. Yeah, I said, there's, like, loads, there's loads. Yeah. I, I haven't even used I, it. I sort of put them on a directory and they go into all of the niches. So if you guys are interested in podcasting and want to listen to us, um, as well as watch us sometimes on YouTube, yeah. you can do so by downloading it on your um, on your podcast provider. Yeah, because so there make are a lot out there. So make sure you do it. So this is this, behind the scenes. We're going to be recording a podcast today called The Origin of Dinosaurs. And you guys can sit there and watch. <laughs> Can't wait. And listen. So, is it, it's going to be interesting. It is. So, um, there might be a few pauses now and again. Just bear with us because, um, you know, it's it quite technical. It doesn't always happen in one go, does it? Nah, nah. podcasts, believe it or not, they're kind of recorded and edited. There's a, yeah, yeah. It's not like a live stream, is it? So, um, you're going to see the unedited version of the... <laughs> yeah, so good luck. Good we'll luck. Have fun with that. So, um, just for your info, we use um, products like these DJ mics. Um, we try and keep a, a very good... Um, and check this out. I'm going to just jump up a minute. I don't even know what's going to happen now. Yeah, watch lights, me. Oh, yeah, forget it. Look how bright it is. better in. now. But uh So... Um, Obviously, podcasts don't really. Podcasts don't really. Um, no, we don't normally use like not lights, but you were on today. You, yeah. so we're gonna use it. So we're gonna pop in the DJI mics right now, um, and do a little sound check. Um, and by the way, this he well he she. We have a name yet. Nah, no, 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 in the comments, pop a name. What should we call the huge T Rex behind us? Um, that's hell of a prop. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? Just for behind the very, scenes. Uh, yeah. So, very um, heavy. we're going to start the podcast now. It's called The Origin of Dinosaurs. Um, so, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Um, maybe you'll learn a little bit about the origin of, of dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Yeah. Right, then, let's go, Ranger Andy. Ready. Ready? I'm ready. You're doing well recovering from your throat. Thanks, mate. Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Dinomania Prehistoric Pod with me, your host Ranger Chris and wow is it good to be back. Another few weeks off and we, we kind of be doing these every sort of two weeks. Yeah, we, we, we've got quite a lot on and we? we've been busy. Who's that speaking? It's me, it's Ranger Andy. Ranger Andy, I'm back. he's back. <laughs> oh, Ranger Andy, it's good to be back. He, <laughs> yeah. he didn't come on last uh, podcast because we had Ranger Tom on, yes. um, which was a, a great podcast actually. Um, we talk about um, his life in Dinomania and his life outside of Dinomania as well, so... Maybe. I don't have one of those, mate. Oh, well, no. I, I don't either, but, you know, he, he's a, he's a hard-working guy. He's but a busy man. If you guys haven't checked that last podcast out, make sure you head back um, and listen to it. But do you know what today's podcast is going to be about? The origin of dinosaurs. Ooh. Yeah, that's so, so where, like, the name came from, where they discover, who discovered them. Yeah. And I've got a really good fact for you, actually. I'm ready for this. The origin of dinosaurs started here... In the United Kingdom. No. Where we live. How cool is that? So if you want to le learn a little bit more about the origin of dinosaurs, stay tuned. And what we've done there is I paused it now, see? I can do a little bit of music. And it goes... Do, pow, wow, whoosh, oh, <laughs> what, do they call, what do they call that? A transition. A transition, yeah. But sound transition. Sound transition. I don't know. I don't know what they call them. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to move on now to the next section, okay? And the next section here. Um, I'm going to just move that over. Ready, Ranger A? I'm ready, mate. Okay, we're going to go straight into it with the um, Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus. And straight into um, who found the Megalosaurus, blah, 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 okay? Cool. And by the way, for those who are watching, most of this is in our brain. Most yeah, of it. Is, most of it. We don't know everything, and we will, you know, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we do no one knows everything about dinosaurs. Here we go, three, two, one. Yeah, I said it here first. The origin of dinosaurs started here. In the United Kingdom, and that's exactly where we're from. Well, we're from Wales, actually, um, which is part of, which the, is United part of the United Kingdom. Kingdom. Yeah. And um, most of the origin of dinosaurs actually uh, happened in England. England, Oxfordshire, most of it, isn't it? Oxfordshire. That's the the birthplace of 
dinosaur. Well, there was a there was a guy, and I'm gonna say, like, well, I'll say the name, and I'm gonna hand it over to you, Ranger Andy. Okay. Because this guy actually found a very cool um, bone yeah. from a dinosaur, or what we now know as a dinosaur. And his name was William Buckland. William Buckland. Yeah. William Buckland is a very interesting guy. <laughs> he was There's great. A... <laughs> he's not, he's not as interesting. Did you know he was actually a reverend as well? Is it reverend? Was he? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, so he was in the church, Reverend Buck, uh, William Buckland. But he was absolutely batshit. He was, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To, <laughs> likely, yeah, he to was. Say, yeah, it's, to um, say yeah, um, there's an interesting story about him. He wanted to eat his way through the whole animal kingdom. <laughs> so literally, any new species of animal or whatever he found, he had to, had to eat it. He ate. <laughs> like, did I, did I not hear that he ate someone's heart? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not just someone, anyone's heart, mate. He ate a king's heart. The kings are. Why would I don't he? know which Louis, but it was one of the French Louis. There's a lot of them. So, yeah, okay, let's get away from the craziness of William Buckland. But he actually found um, a dinosaur bone, didn't he? He did. A he femur, did. I believe. A femur, yeah. yeah. Um, and this dinosaur um, that we now know as Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus. Very cool dinosaur. It's a theropod, um, so a meat eating two legged dinosaur. Um, and, oh, wow. But do you know what? Um, in the Oxford Museum, they've actually got um, the dentary bone. I mean, yeah, yeah, it was the famous the dentary jaw bone. Bit. So um, for those who are watching on YouTube right now, um, dentary bone is about this big only, okay? It's um, about... For those about, who are listening... Yeah, about 10 inches. 10 inches, yeah. 10 inches. And it's got a distinctive tooth, one tooth that's sticking out prominently. And then there's a little, little yeah. new ones going through in there as well. So William Buckland sort of started the, the dinosaur... Um, revolution off, as we should call it. It did, yeah. Yeah, um, so it was in the er early 1800s. So come, well, exactly 200 years to this year. Yeah, in November this year is the, the 200th anniversary. You're right. The naming of the Megalosaurus. Yeah. The naming of it, yeah. Megalosaurus, what? Megalosaurus right? We know names, right? Yeah, yeah, Megalo, let's try it, let's try it. Meg Mega, 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 right? big, 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 big Saurus, big lizard. Big lizard, because that's what they thought they were. Yeah, yeah. well... I'm not sure if anyone's ever been to a, a, a park in London called Crystal Palace Park. I've been yes. there. Um, in fact, you came with me once. I've been yeah. a few times. Um, and in amongst the sort of the, the, the water features that they've got there, on the islands in the middle, they've got these crazy statues of dinosaurs that were, that were made in the 1800s yeah, as well. Yeah, they're, they're, they're very um, old. To commemorate the, the, the discoveries. But Megalosaurus is there. Um, you've also got Iguanodon. And Haliosaurus. Haliosaurus. Not such a famous one, is it? No, uh, no. no. Haliosaurus um, and Megalosaurus. There, there are also pterosaurs there and lots of mammals. They but... were the world's first representations of dinosaurs. Yeah, and they got them completely so... wrong. <laughs> They're good, though. They are <laughs> wicked, yeah, yeah. And there's a story about them all having a, a feast inside um, it one of the... It? I'm not sure if it was Iguanodon or Megalosaurus. It wasn't hilarious. So they were like, no, no. actually sat inside it. Well, I don't know, because I've been there, and they're not that It big. didn't look that big, did it? No, no, no. 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 And if you look at old-fashioned um, portrayals of it, there's like there's a huge room inside the belly, and they're all around this yeah, huge yeah. table. And I don't think... I think they've sort of exaggerated. <laughs> I think it does. So they one, probably had a sandwich. One guy had a sandwich in it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just the sandwiches, the builder. This guy. counts, boys, this counts. Um, anyway, um, back to... Um, the, the more well, we've just talked about one actually, Iguanodon. Iguanodon, it's yeah. another one. Iguanodon. So the the guy who found uh, the Iguanodon found a tooth. Um, that was the first ever thing of Iguanodon, and it, it's basically a huge um, sort of scaled up size of a normal iguana tooth. Wow, well, that's where so they that, get the name from. Yeah, that iguana, explains it. Iguana. So going into names again, Iguanodon, because iguana, um, iguanas are lizards, it is. reptiles. We saw a lot of iguanas, didn't we, in, uh, in Mexico? Mexico? Everywhere. Well, they were loads. In fact, um, I used to go um, on the hunts with the kids, looking for how many. <laughs> and one day we found like 30 of them. <laughs> that's your top. 30, that's a lot. They were huge, mate. They were huge. And um, you can show I, them on YouTube. One thing I sites. didn't do was grab and look at the teeth. No? No, I didn't try. No chance. Do you know, though, it, interestingly, they, they mostly, I think it's mostly, if not exclusively, only are herbivores. I get it, but they're still going to give me a bite, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whip. The, yeah, the whip. That's what yeah, we got to watch. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the whip so, from the table. So, iguanas, basically, they thought that they, uh, well, um, sorry, have we said the name yet? The person who found them was called Gideon Mantel. Mantel yeah. um, Gideon Mantel. And we'll tell you a few facts about him in a second, but Gideon Mantel, he found the iguana tooth. Um, and, of course, he just thought, wow, we found a huge, huge iguana, giant iguana. giant iguana, and again, they represented it in Crystal Palace Park with this huge, really obscure... Kind of looks like a crocodile or something. Yeah, sort of, kind it? of. They've, they've just completely... I, I can see why. 
the science wasn't there. They just sort of scaling up creatures yeah. that they thought. Um, and this is one cool thing about the the, dino the dinosaur uh, origins as such. Um, how crazy. Because they're all it's still changing now, aren't they? Of course it's changing now. Constantly. Um, but um, right after this very short break, um, we're going to actually start talking a little bit more, more about Gideon Mantel. I've got a good fact. Got, got a good fact. I yeah. can't wait. So here it comes. There we go. So... Paused. We paused for a little bit um, and just get our little breath back. That was a little bit of a chat about um, the, the crazy Mantell and Mantel. Buckland. Um, it, Buckland was actually really crazy. He's my favourite. Look him up. He's my favourite. Yeah. I'll see if I can put some pictures <laughs> on the videos now yeah. as well as, as we go in. of the And I'll put some of the pictures of the Crystal Palace things up so you guys got reference to what we're talking about. But um, anyway, right now there's going to be a short advert up about our Prehistoric Planet app. app yeah, get if it, you haven't yeah, got yeah, the app because yeah, yeah, um, yeah. you're not going to listen to this. Uh, well, you may, but check out the app. Um, anyway, okay, let's um, okay. let's move on. I'm gonna just make sure. Come in with your Mantel fact. I'm gonna delete that one because that's the big one. And the Mantel fact, you like this one? Yeah, yeah. I, oh, and I don't know how true it is, but I heard this one. So I the think it's true. On the great van, van, van. <laughs> You know what I mean. Right then, I said I would give you a cool fact about Gideon Mantel. Right, you're right. You're right. You all remember, like everyone um, in the old fashioned days, especially nowadays, not so much. They had a fireplace. Yeah, I you know, know where they. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but they're not so popular right now. No. You know, maybe ornamental ones, but fireplace. And above the fireplace, you'd have this shelf. Yeah, the fire shelf. The fire, <laughs> the fire shelf. <laughs> no, the mantelpiece, me. What? The mantelpiece. The mantelpiece. Yeah, 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 yeah Do yeah, you yeah. not call it a mantelpiece? Mantel yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right. So, you're right. my nan, especially, I'm going to go back to my nan days. Um, and my nan used to put like, um, or oh, I should say my grandpa, because he used to He's love collect, of yeah, yeah, used to love collecting brass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ornaments of cows and horses yeah, yeah. and bells. <laughs> Something to and, polish. Yeah, and he'd have them all on the mantelpiece. So, and it, we're never allowed to touch them, you know, and on the end was Imperial Mints. I don't, I don't, blame, I don't blame him for not letting me touch so, them. So, <laughs> I was like, um, that's called a mantelpiece. And that's actually where they think this name comes from. It may, I mean, it makes sense. So Gideon Mantell um, used to keep his fossils and things, some important things, on top of the shelf. You would, wouldn't on you? On the fire shelf. Yeah, the fire shelf. And then it was called the Mantell piece, or so the Mantell piece. That is a cool fact. So I think, um, I, I'm not sure if you like that. So before you came along, it was the fire shelf. Yeah. I'm not sure what it was called before that, but <laughs> I just <laughs> liked it. I just liked that fact. But let's let's get back to the dinosaurs and, and Gideon Mantell. Um, now... If you go to the Natural History Museum in London, there's a, um, a huge iguanodontid yeah. um, called the Mantellosaurus. And I kind of believe that that is that, that the, the first, first yeah. one he discovered. And yeah. um, they've named it half after him, which is really nice, actually. Because it? it was him that came up with the name dinosaur, though, wasn't it? Who? Uh, Mantell. No. No? No. He didn't come up with the name oh, dinosaur. Oh, he didn't, did he? No. Oh, who was that then? It was Richard Owen. Ah, Richard Owen. You know, his mate. It's Richard Owen. Richard. <laughs> you know, dead. <laughs> From the Natural History Museum. So, Richard Owen, um, Richard Owen f uh, coined the phrase um, dinosaur. Yeah. Which Terrible Lizard. Um, and in fact, there's a really good podcast called Terrible Lizard. Is it? Yeah, it's really good. To check it out. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, and, um, yeah, so Richard Owen founded the, the Natural History Museum in London also, which is a He was a busy man, wasn't he? He was, he was. Busy man. Um, I'm not sure uh, uh, if he was a nice guy. Wasn't sure, you know, but... Um, normally, people with the amount of money, they're not that nice, you know? um, <laughs> especially back then in the Victorian age. You've got enough money to yeah, make yeah. your own museum. Yeah, but yeah. the museum is fantastic. It is. One it, of my favourite places ever to visit. Can't say it enough. No, it, it, I it love it. Brilliant. You can spend a day there easy. More. Yeah. I reckon. You Think like... of it. It depends what you're into. If you're into, like, um, I don't know, you know, S Club 7. Yeah, which you might probably, probably not spend no, a day no, no. there, to be fair. No. But if you're into natural history... Dinosaurs. Now you're talking. Animals. And do you know what? I've been around that place so many times, and it's, it's, it is a treasure trove of just oh, yeah. We've done a few times, every time you see something yeah. you wouldn't have noticed before. And in fact, we've done a podcast um, not that long ago, actually, um, and, a, and a video on YouTube. So if yeah, you were, check if you were, it out. Um, and Professor Paul Barrett, who is one of the head paleontologists. Head, head paleontologists. We, we yeah. managed to get back. Stage with him. He, he, he treated us well, didn't he? And he did. Yeah. We, um, yeah. we looked at that huge Titanosaur as well. Yeah, we were lucky enough to catch yeah. it while that was on. Yeah. What was that one called again? Uh, the Patagon Titan. Patagon Titan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, anyway, let's get back to a little bit more about the origin of dinosaurs. So, of course, you've got the history of um, Britain being the first place 
um, to ever, ever find a dinosaur bone. Find a name, yeah. 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 Um, but, you know, we coined the name. We found some cool ones. There's some cool ones in Britain, actually. Barry Onyx. Barry, yeah. Um, you've got Draco Rex. Not Draco Rex. Um, Draco Raptor. Yeah. Sorry, not the Draco Rex. Draco Rex is America. The Welsh one. Draco Raptor, yeah. Um, and then you've got Haliosaurus, of course, and uh, Megalosaurus. One of, the, one of the, the early ones, wasn't it? And loads of pterosaurs and loads and loads of marine reptiles. It's so. over 50 now, isn't it? Yeah. So Britain is cool. But um, the, the origin of dinosaurs didn't start with Britain, of course. No. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Um, think across the pond. Yeah. Oh, and you, you know what they like across the pond. Now, I love you guys in America, but you try and do things bigger and better than Got to be bigger, innit? Yeah. Always. And I'll give you this one. Because <laughs> uh, in America, you have got some bigger, cooler dinosaurs, yes. I guess. Um, and, but there was, a, there was um, back in the 1800s, or the early 1900s. So this, yeah, this was, I think it was the mid-1800s this started, wasn't it? With the, there, uh, there was a thing called the Bone Wars. The Bone it? Wars, yeah. And there was two guys... Um, Othniel Charles Marsh. Marsh. And Remember the other one? Cope. Cope. Drink a Cope. Drink a Cope. Yeah, yeah drink a yes, Cope. Them two went head to head <laughs> like this um, in a battle to find as many dinosaurs as possible. possible. And it went crazy, actually. And people died. And it oh, was. I was I mean, it's something worth looking into on its own. Really, it is. It's, it? it's its own podcast. Yeah, that one. we'll I talk about we'll, it again. Yeah, we can we can shelf that for later. Like, but honestly, if you if you look into the Bone Wars, that's what it's called. Um, it was a crazy time where um, they kind of realised that there's money in this. There's money in it. There's yeah. money in this, and we're gonna make as much money as we can, even like, if we've got to pretend we found things. Yeah, because there was a lot <laughs> of that going on, wasn't there? There was a lot of. Uh, Miss uh, naming things or yeah. renaming things already discovered. Yeah. And have you heard a good fact? I'm not sure which one this is. I'm pretty sh- sure it's Cope. Yeah. I'm sure he's never even picked up a pick or a shovel in his life. So he's just got other people to do his dirty work. I'm pretty sure. I've heard yeah. that somewhere where he'd fly out, get in the picture. You know what I mean? Um, they've been, the they've been digging for like 400 years. Ah, oh, you know what I mean. Yeah. But, um, yeah. But the origin of dinosaurs is very, very cool. And of course, it did start here in Britain. Um, and in fact, straight after this, we're going to start talking about this week's dinosaur of the week. week. And it's going to be a British dinosaur. Yes, keep, keep it in with the theme. theme yeah. There we go. Sweet. So we talked a little bit about that. Um, what else can we talk? Is there anything we missed? Um, I think we should go into the China stuff before... Dino goes it. back to well, it goes back thousands of years. Their discoveries of dinosaurs, but they did not in yeah. know them as um, in, in there. Um, there's that very famous um, Stegosaurus that on, was on, the, on a cave. Yeah, on the, I think it was on a Mayan Maya, yeah. temple. Or see, something. Yeah, master yeah. says. Yeah. So we we'll talk a bit about that as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah and see what we do. Yeah, you know, we love that kind of stuff. Just to get our fo- thoughts, get into the next section. We can't work off a script. See. Oh no, <laughs> scripts are boring. <laughs> Hence, I even swore that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Beep that. I'll beep it. Don't yeah. worry about that. No, there's no worries about beeping. We're all human, guys. <laughs> Just compassionate about it. Passionate. Exactly. Passionate. Just got in there. Like I won't. Um, I won't swear again. I promise. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, have you have you been thinking about names for this one while we've been going? Because if you have. Because um, I don't think I'm going to edit this. I'm just going to no, leave, 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 leave yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. in one. Like. Anyway, so we go straight to Dino of the Day? No, I think we should do, do the China. China, yeah. Welcome back. Um, do you know what? Before we get into the Dino of the Day, which is this week's the Baryonyx. Oh, it surprised me there. I've just decided. Why did I say it's a British I British. I don't know what it was going to be. Well, now, you, now we've got time, to, now think. got time <laughs> to think about it, yeah. We're going to talk a little bit more about the origin of dinosaurs. Because... Even though um, it was, uh, you know, coined and the name was phrased here in Britain. um, Do you know what? I got a sneaky feeling that these dinosaurs, um, people have found them way before that. So, so yeah, yeah. So, even though the name was coined in Britain and the scientific study of dinosaurs started in Britain. Yeah. People have been finding massive bones for thousands of years. There's there's discoveries go back to China, I think about 2,000 years. But obviously, well, not obviously, but I think that's where the dragon myths came from. This is exactly so, what I was thinking, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you look, you find giant bones, giant teeth, all that kind of stuff. There's always been a big... Uh, there, is a, there is a book um, called Dragon Teeth. Yeah. Very good book. All of, and that's about dinosaurs, actually. But um, yeah, um, so, if you think of how close... In fact, you know what it's like. Sometimes we're out and about 
without dinosaurs. Yeah. And people will go, oh, nice dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, happened, that's happened, happened a lot. A lot. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> you can kind of see the resemblance between dragons and dinosaurs. Yeah. They didn't breathe fire. You know, not that we know of. I doubt it. Yeah. it. <laughs> um, and, of course, dinosaurs didn't fly. And they were mythical. Nope. But there is definitely something in uh, in this. So, the the um, it's not just bones and things that have been found, though. Um, I have seen on a wall somewhere in a cave a stegosaurus picture and this is dated way way, way before yeah so there is a famous one i think it's on either an incan or mayan temple there's a carving of what looks like a stegosaurus with like skin yeah. on and everything yeah, yeah 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 so i mean a lot of people think that's why dinosaurs and humans must have lived alongside so they see them but did they just find like pretty well preserved skeletons oh. and just piece it together from that I Who mean, knows, if you Google man? it, I try not try and have a look at it. It's Who, well worth right, Who's to say it wasn't um, aliens yeah. coming down? I'm all for that. During the time of dinosaurs, yeah, go into a cave, doing a bit of doing drawing, off and then go. off they go. Yeah, I mean, you know, it could be. It's just as likely. Do you know what? No, it is. It is. Um, it's amazing to think that, of course, dinosaurs went extinct. Um, or should I say, the 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 non avian dinosaurs. dinosaurs they went extinct. 66 million years ago. We know it happened. We know the science behind yes. it. Um, and they were around for about 145, 150 million That's years ago. That's a long, long time. It is a long time, yeah. isn't it? So, um... What are we up to? Two million now? Yeah. Humans, yeah. Who's to say, like, you know, who found it first? Exactly. There's a lot of that going on in general with dinosaurs in there. Who discovered what but, first? hang on. Uh, there was a guy. Yeah? Who found the dinosaurs first. Yeah. Remember his name? He lost the plot, didn't he? That's it, Robert Plot. Robert Plot. Robert Plot. Plot. <laughs> Look it up. So guys. this is going back even further. Well, not even further. This is going back to the 1600s. Robert Plot discovered a massive. Or he didn't discover it himself. But was <laughs> sent a massive bone, which turned out to be a femur. Yeah, yeah. From obviously he didn't know this at the time, but it was a megalosaurus. But he thought it was a giant human. <laughs> I mean, you know, I get it. Yeah. A, a giant, a giant. Yeah, he thought Think it was a giant. It, yeah, he true. thought obviously thought it was some kind of giant. So a lot of myths, perhaps, came from. Dinosaurs. So let's just put a, an end to the, the origin of dinosaurs section of our podcast now. The origin of dinosaurs scientifically is from Britain. Yeah, in the 1800s. Um, but who knows? Yeah. That's what I love about this subject so much. <laughs> it's huge. You could go on for days. Who knows? Was it? Were they found first by the Mayans in the caves? Yeah. Were they found by the Egyptians? Yeah. You know, were they found by... Um, if we can find them, Mr. Plot, people before, yeah, people before could have found them. So that's amazing. Do you know what? Um, I hope you enjoyed that section, the origin of dinosaurs. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, it and I, I actually learned quite a lot, actually. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, thanks, Ranger Andy, for joining no me for the origin of dinosaurs. But stick with me because we are going to chat next about Dino of the Day, which is the amazing Baryonyx Walker Eye. Oh, and see what we're doing? Just having a little break again. So we can... Baryonyx walk away. Baryonyx. So we know Baryonyx, but I'm just... Just for everyone's... I'm going to bring up a few facts. Some quick fire facts. Yeah. Uh, so it's good to... Uh, you know, we'll learn something new as well. It's like, such a huge subject. No one knows everything. Like, I know the name Baryonyx Walker, right? Obviously, um, I think it's... I can't remember the name of the guy. Obviously, I know his name is Walker. Walker something Walker. But I can't remember the name. Mr. Walker. Mr. Walker. Mr. Walker. Because it's quite um, a recent one, this is, isn't it? Yes. In the skate scheme of things. It like, like but a, it's a Spinosaur, which is cool. Could be wrong, but is it the 70s it was? 70s? The 1970s. Was it actually? I didn't know I that. I think it could be. I know it was found in a quarry in, in um, um, Sussex. That's it. Was it Sussex? Something like uh, oh, sorry. Sorry. I get those mixed up all the time. Oh, I'm sorry, anyone who lives in Surrey or Sussex. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I know it was in a clay it. mine or something, but... Yeah. Medium-sized theropod includes fish. Right then, you ready? I think I'm ready. We've got a few little facts here. Yeah. Um, and we'll go for it. And there we are. We're back. Um, and we're going to do Dinosaur of the Day. This is going to finish off this week's podcast. Um, and today's Dinosaur of the Day is the amazing Baryonyx. Oh, I do love Baryonyx. We're going to stick with the British theme on this one because, of course, Baryonyx is a British dinosaur it was actually discovered in um, uh, a clay pit in surrey 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 yeah, yeah. surrey so um if you were, if you live in surrey or you're close to surrey you've got a famous dinosaur yeah i mean you could find more bits but you know um a dino so the the baryonyx um it actually means heavy claw the name um barry onyx, barry onyx. He and it's an unusual name because not yeah. many 
but this one was named after the huge claw that they found. And it's not typical to a, a, a standard claw. It's very thick. It's thick claw, isn't it? They really have, they have, thick. I think they've got the original in the National History Museum yeah. and, in London. Um, this dinosaur is um, uh, actually related to the Spinosaurus. So like British Spinosaur? Yeah. It doesn't have that huge seal on its back. Like the like the spine, no. Um, and it wasn't as big. It was a, probably a medium sized pterosaur. Similar head shape, though, isn't it? A similar head shape. Yeah. Um, and that's a and that's a key common fact with all spinosaurs, actually. That crocodilian specialized, sort of isn't it? Specialized. specialized. So, because it's got that specialized head, it loves swimming. Yeah. Yeah. So this was a big fish eater. Huge. Because they found they found fish scales and stuff, haven't they? In the, yeah. in, in the fossils. They have. Um, and in fact. Um, Fish being his favourite diet and obviously getting in the water and swimming, perfect, isn't it? Yeah, you know, ideal. Ideal. And if, it, if it's like Spinosaurus and it's got those um, sensors all around the skull, so you can see them on the on the actual skulls, they're like little pits. Oh, the little pit sensors, yeah. And yeah. those pits were used then to um, help it hunt so it could stay still in the water. Very, very cool. Sense dinosaur. movement, isn't it? It's how crocodiles today hunt. Isn't exactly it? Yeah. the same as crocs, yeah. Exactly the same. And in fact, um, the crocodilian like features on it are... Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you can't mistake it. So the Baryonyx, when did it live? So, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> For those who don't know, I've been a bit unwell the last few weeks. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> You're powering through me. So I don't want anyone listening to the cough on... Oh, for YouTube as well, guys. YouTube, you can cough. Yeah, it's 1983 it was founded. What now? The Baryonyx. Oh, thanks. Sorry, thanks. Oh, it's 1983. I thought it was the 70s, yeah, but it was the 80s. Okay. Okay, that's good. We'll get on that now. We'll, yeah. uh, let's talk about... Um, I think it's Lake Cretaceous, isn't it? Is it Lake Cretaceous? Lake Cretaceous? Please be Lake Cretaceous. Please be Lake Cretaceous. Lake Cretaceous! Lake Cretaceous. Bang. Oh, let's get into it. So, yeah, this dinosaur lived in the Lake Cretaceous period. Most okay. of the cool ones lived in the Lake Cretaceous, though, didn't oh, they? You can't say that. You can't say that. <laughs> most of the most famous One ones. One of my favourite dinosaurs was Allosaurus. Oh, yeah, Jurassic. It's a Jurassic. But you're right, uh, Lake Cretaceous was home to lots and lots of um, very cool dinosaurs. Famous ones, anyway, Indeed. They, really? Yeah. Um, as mentioned earlier, though, Spinosaurus um, was the first discovered uh, spinosaur. Um, in 1912. 1912. And this one was discovered. Do you know when this one was discovered? That. Go on, mate. 1983. 83. 83. It's that's quite it. a recent find, though. It is. So it's fairly, fairly recent, because that's not... The 80s won a long time ago. No, no. I don't care what anyone says. Well, I was born in the 80s, mate. <laughs> yeah, man. I was three when this one was found. <laughs> oh, look How that. cool is that? <laughs> so, actually, yeah, the, the this dinosaur is class. Um, huge... Well, I wouldn't say huge, medium-sized theropod. So it was big. It was but, big, yeah. Yeah, for, for Bigger than dinosaur the animals around now. Yeah, exactly. Um, and again, we've re we've quoted this a lot of times. Head to the Natural History Museum in London. Yeah, they've got a full-size one um, along the the wall Jeez, as you big. as you walk out, and it's amazing. Um, in fact, oh, I was going to say I got one over there, but they're not going to see it on that. They're not going to see it on that. Either. Oh, guys, I'm sorry about that. Let's get a picture or something. So that brings us to the end. What an amazing podcast again. Enjoy it. I've enjoyed this. Yeah, it's been nice. It's been interesting. Enjoy your. Enjoy your. And it's given us some ideas for what to do again. It has. Um, yeah. If you've got any ideas um, um, on the podcast, head over to our Instagram, Facebook. Um, you can go to our YouTube channel. Head on to the comments. Um, this actual podcast today is being filmed for YouTube as yeah. well. So it's going to be put on. Um, hello so over there. if you listen to it and you want to watch it. And you want to watch our, our faces, see what we look like. <laughs> we um, have got something cool behind us. And there is a huge T-Rex peering behind us yeah. as well so head over there on the comments of the video let us know what you want us to talk about in our next upcoming i like that podcast yeah. why not make it interactive so for myself ranger chris myself ranger andy thanks for listening and we'll see you next time for another edition of dino mania prehistoric pod and that's a wrap done and that's how we do it yeah so um yeah Hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. So you may have heard a few little profanities during that, <laughs> and I will be beeping them out. Yeah, yeah. And you got to put an emoji of your faces off, <laughs> so they don't know what word it was you said. But uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, I will see you again next. Peace time. out. Peace out and all that. Peace out. <laughs>